and welcome back to another exciting episode of Extra Feature. And today I have a guest who I love. His shorts are fantastic. Everybody go to his website, Rose Pick, Rogue Pictures. RogueAlchemyPictures.com. Ah, that's it. Go. Looking back to his new short, Michael Sharon's back. Thank you so much for coming back. And thank you for bringing this looking back. It's so much fun. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me. So where did this one come from because i mean the last one you brought us was funny you had great humor this one has humor but it's a little more you know i don't know what i'm looking for a little more sad at times i guess yeah um i don't know like i i, I have a, a tendency to i don't ever want to tell a straightforward story right so like with the last one i wanted you know it was built around eric's ability to do impressions but i didn't I wanted to show this frustration and everyone else didn't get it right so with this one it it came from an idea you know many years ago um actually eric the lead actor and i were in his car and he put his car in reverse and it was at night and there was this dark creepy look on the screen and i was like wouldn't it be funny if there was like a ghost in there right <laughs> and that was just in my head for years and um uh, a little over a year ago uh, i just kind of had this idea that like uh, of the way i wanted to tell it right um i wanted to find a way and not a straight horror film and in having it where this guy develops this relationship with this ghost right now is that what it is it's a ghost yes. i was trying to yeah. figure out if it was I, I did write down well i guess i'll jump a little bit further i thought it was the creature for the ring when it first starts yeah sort of i mean like we we did play into that look a little bit yes but like it is it's supposed to be a ghost Okay, I wasn't sure. It was just it could be taken as his imagination. Yeah, and I I tend to do that a lot too. I have another film called You're the Puppet, and people ask me, "Is the puppet really alive, or is it in his brain?" And I tell them, "What do you think?" Right, and I kind of feel that way too. Like it could be just he's imagining this and living out the the life he dreamed of, or it could be this is really happening. Okay, I hate to do this. At one point, I'm going to, for you people, you've got to see this short, but I am going to talk a lot about it because there's stuff I have questions. There's a point when the wife sees him looking at the video in his car. Yeah. Now, clearly that shot is the point. Does she not see the video or doesn't she? She just sees him. She just sees him. She sees him that, in his car just eating pizza and laughing and doesn't know what's going on. That's what I, I took it, that she's yeah. totally out to lunch on this whole yeah experience he's doing okay so let's get my fun questions i always like to ask whose cars I mean, it's a beautiful tesla and who eats pizza in it <laughs> we had to rent that actually there's a company called turo that's like airbnb for cars right and we just rented a car for a couple days okay music you definitely have some fun with your music yeah I'm a, it's, he's one of my friends the guy who does all my post music he did the last film he does everything i do we've been friends since like sixth grade uh, and he's this master. He does all my audio post and the music and you can kind of come to him. He's great because he's this like chameleon of like, you come to him with a sound you want and he can do it. Right. Um, uh, a couple of years ago, I did this short called, um, here comes the neighborhood. And I was like, I want like a jazz trio because it's supposed to, it's comedy, but there's like tense moments. And then you could like use that, the drums and things to build tension. And he just nailed it. Right. You just come to him and say, Hey, I want this and he can do it. So does that make it easier as a filmmaker to produce something? I mean, obviously you have a lot going on in your head. And I mean, you're thinking five steps. You've written it, obviously, but you haven't filmed anything yet. You're like, oh, I know what I need. But does yeah. he automatically know? Do you show him the script or do you just tell him what you need? And you know what's going to come in so you don't worry about it. So so it depends. And it depends on the film. Like um, this one, we gave him a little feedback uh, of an idea for the opening music because we wanted it to kind of feel like a car commercial and like have this certain style. Um, but the rest of it, we just said, hey, do what you want. And then he and I kind of, he would bring me stuff and I'd kind of go like, well, what about this? And kind of guide it a bit, right? So it depends on the film. Sometimes we go in with a very specific idea and sometimes I don't. Well, I say you guys hit it on the head on the musical montage. I've seen your film twice and it breaks me up that musical montage every time. You yeah. perfectly do a good job with that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that one I did, I did tell him, you know, I forgot that the montage music was like Burt Bacharach. I was like, I want yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just love the scene. I'm going to ruin the one part when he's pushing a bike down the street. Yes. The other, just, I break up. I'm sorry. Every time I watch it, that's my favorite scene. Is that one scene? I don't know why I find it so amusing. Because I just, yeah. I guess you have to be a parent to really get that scene. And I think yeah. if you're not a parent, it may not connect with some people, but it's totally yeah. with me. 
Yeah, that that was actually so the the little girl who turns and looks back at him like yes. what are you doing? That's actually Eric's daughter. Uh, oh, daughter. yeah. <laughs> so is it easier to work with kids or not work with kids? Um, I mean, that's my only experience working with a kid, and it was only a few seconds, right? She's barely in it, right? Um, no, she. That's correct. Right. Yeah. So, like, you know, I I don't really know. I've never really spent a lot of time working with kids in film. Okay. House location. Um, it was a friend of uh, our actors. You know, they they love to have us there. They were. It was great because I was a little. Uh, you know, they're they're an older couple and they're a little 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 bit conservative. And I was like, I don't know. This is a weird movie. Uh, but I was, I was telling someone the story this weekend, it was a great moment that they actually had, they had like a bar in the back of the living room and they just sat at the bar and had drinks and were just like, oh, that's cool. what are you doing now? And it was just, it was a really good time. They, they really enjoyed having us there. Okay. When you do the pregnancy test, there's no close up, but that always planned. Uh, what do you mean? Well, he finds the pregnancy test and yeah. you barely see it. It's like, boom, boom, dot. I'm like. I thought there'd be a little bit more of a close up on it. You kind of just sort of pass over. Yeah, it. I mean, so it it shows it. It shows it. It's um, uh, so it's a fake pregnancy test. You can buy those that like you ah. just get them wet and they show positive, right? The thing is, is we were looking at it and a lot of and just like this one, a lot of modern pregnancy tests look two lines like COVID rather than a plus or a minus, right? So it wasn't really strong. So we just got a quick shot of it that shows that it's there, but you know, and and the look on his face is supposed to imply that. Oh, it was excellent. Excellent. Um, how was working with Alyssa again? Oh, she's great. She actually produced this one with me too. So um, I, I love working with her. We're working on another project, uh, hopefully in April together. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little foot picky. What woman asked her husband to get dinner after he just got home? So yeah, that was, I mean, and, and it's funny because it's gotten a couple laughs. Uh, that was kind of, to me, was the idea that she like sends him back out. Like, you know, you should go for your drive, you know, like, uh, I, it was a real subtle joke of like, you know, you go out and have fun. Oh, but also pick up dinner, please. Yes, right? I kind of so that. Was, that. <laughs> yeah, it was like she was kind of sending him out to, to go handle that. Now, when he's coming home, it's a bright and sunny day. Mm -hmm. When he comes back, it's pitch black. Well, it's it's actually kind of, it, it's starting to get dark when he gets home, right? Okay. Uh, I yeah. would argue this with you that it's pitch black because I did definitely pay attention the second time yeah. more to that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, it's movie magic. It's when you go to a bar in a movie and you say, I'd like a beer and they just hand you a beer and a glass. I agree. And, you know, I thought it was funny. How did that happen, right? Now, did you light the inside of the car or everything is on the outside of the car for the lighting? Um, it depends on the shot. We did have some lights in there, you know, for some of the internal stuff. Okay, this may be a weird question. When I'm watching the video that he's watching on the screen, mm -hmm. now when you're filming, obviously that's filmed at a different time. I get that. Is he seeing that video at all or is he playing yeah. off nothing? He's playing off nothing. Yeah. So you really have to tell him what he's watching then. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it was a lot of telling him, okay, now react to this now. Now, you know, look shocked, look, you know, smile, right? So how did that go? Did you have to film different reaction shots all the time? Like, so like you didn't quite get what you wanted in the shot? We, I mean, we did a lot of, so like, you know, when I would tell him, hey, look shocked, we would film, you know, 10 versions of that to right. see what okay. was going to mesh best, right? And then, so we would just keep, just do a slate of different things. So we knew we were just cutting in and out because it's all, you know, mostly a montage, right? So it was just finding a bunch of different options and seeing what slots in best. Okay. Was the video shot at the same house on the same driveway? Because I was trying yeah. to figure that out. Yes, it okay. was. See, these are things I don't know. Um, <laughs> God. Oh, was the pizza any good? I don't know. Uh, I'd have to ask Eric, but he, you know, it was, it was, it had been sitting in the fridge for a while and he ate it cold. So I don't know. Okay. Um, the extra person that arrives in the film, was that fun to create? Oh, the, you're talking about the, the very last edition in there? Correct. Yes, yes, that was fun, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to ruin something. Right, 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 right. I was trying to figure out. To... There's a lot of characters that pop up. But yeah, you know what I meant. Yeah. yeah. So when you're writing, you said you found this idea years ago. Do you write it down in a book or does it always stay in your head? It's just I have random ideas in my head like that, right? And then it's just when something strikes me. I, I, I typically, like, I write a lot of features and I, like, I plan those out and stuff and for me, like shorts, I write when I'm ready to make something, right? So I have, 
it's just like when an idea just like works its way together in the way that it works, it's like, let's make this now. Now, how long would it take you to write a short? Is sometimes a week, sometimes a month, or it just goes bang, two days, you're done? It, it can be either, right? So it depends, right? Like this one, I probably wrote it. I sat down, so I pitched the idea to my usual collaborators um, and Chadwick, who played the, uh, the mechanic in this. Um, I pitched it to him and he had some really good ideas for the montage. So he and I sat down and like, just kind of, you know, wrote it, at, wrote out a, an outline. And then I sat down and wrote it in probably a couple of days. Okay, so, oh, so one of the writers is that guy that comes out, so sorry, we can't fix it. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he co-wrote the story with me, yeah. Okay, I had no idea. But he's yeah. like, I love those characters. Like, do you enjoy writing those characters, those guy character actors that just show up and go out quickly? Yeah, yeah. This one, it's, you know, I haven't done that a lot in the last couple of shorts, but this one, you know, pretty much everyone had their little in and outs, right, except for Eric and the, the ghost. Yes. Now let's go back. I want to go back to the wife. Was there ever a script that the wife had more to do? Because literally she's only had three scenes, the beginning, a yeah, tiny bit in the middle and the end. And then that's it. There was a couple of things that she was going to do and a couple of things that she was going to be in the background of like witnessing things happening, but like not knowing what was going on. Um, but like just logistically, we had a lot of shots to get in the driveway that it was just easier to to work her out of that. Okay, because I thought the montage for sure she would have came out the door just yeah. to watch. I'm sure you thought of that idea at one yeah. point. Yeah, we had several different thing, ideas like that. We had several ideas that we wanted to do in the montage we just did not have the time for. So was that the problem? Is that the two days of the car was really giving you an issue? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there's a, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you're like, oh, we're just shooting in a car in a driveway. It should be easy. It's, it's not, right? Like figuring out like, the logistics because everything we had to shoot of the ghost was separate than everything that was in the car right? right so we created a rig with the two red lights on either side of the camera so it looked like it was in the backup camera right the red lights on her and we had to do all of that uh also all of that makeup took forever right i mean it looks fantastic but it's like some of those characters are in the screen for 30 seconds or less and it took hours <laughs> oh really i was going to get to the makeup that was going to be one of my last questions so you have three people in a lot of makeup, I would say. Yes. Now that took hours. Um, some of them, yeah. Like, well, the the the, the werewolf did the most because that was a lot of application, right? Uh, all of the hair. And what about the extra person that shows up for one scene? But that looks like a lot of work. That one scene out in the driveway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it took. It wasn't as long, but it, it took a little while. Yeah. Okay. Did you have fun? Like, I'm more worried about spectators on the street watching this and going, what are you doing? I mean, there, it was in a neighborhood that wasn't that busy. Not that many people came by. Uh, it was also, uh, unfortunately for us, July for a lot of it. So it was brutally hot. So the cast was running in and out of the house while we were just sitting out there in the sun setting things up. Uh, so that was fun. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I don't have anything else for you. You're like plowing through everything today. You're too fast. Is there anything I missed? No, I think I got everything. It's only a five minute, eight minute short. I think I'm good, That's right? Good. So that I could ask you the fun questions. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I wish I had more. You got to send me something longer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your favorite comedy. My favorite comedy. I think we talked about this last time. Uh, Did I mean, we? Yeah. It, I, Did I ask you about your favorite comedy? You asked me like, or no, wait, what did you ask me? I asked you your favorite film. Yeah. I did uh, not ask you your favorite film. probably comedy. the same. It's Wet Hot American Summer, right? Um, okay. That's... Viewers can see this on the YouTube. You have a Kiss Kiss Bang Bang poster. Yes, yes. How big a Shane Black fan are you then? Oh, massive. Yeah, it's he's pretty, His that film right there is pretty close behind Wet Hot. Okay. Yeah, and then I actually have, uh, right there is Nice Guys. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I was at the premiere of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang in Toronto. Oh, nice. So I did meet yeah, Gilmore I and thing. I, I got to see him uh, when it, it played Austin Film Festival and I was like working for the festival, driving people. So I got to drive him around a bunch. Oh, that, was pretty cool. that would be, so, okay. There's a great story we can get into. <laughs> How was picking Shane, you're a writer? How's picking Shane Black's brain or did you even get into that? I mean, we just chatted, he was very, uh, hung over most of the time that I was around him. One time I drove him to a, a radio show that he was doing an interview and he was just like, just come on in. So I got to sit in on the radio interview with him. Uh, but then like one morning I had, I think that was that same morning I had to track him down 
uh like no one knew where he was and he was just like walking back to the hotel like all hung over and he's like oh you gotta do that now all right you know so <laughs> he, he was a super nice guy but like he wasn't like uh it wasn't like a, a chance to just sit and chat with him a lot fair enough yeah. your favorite film from 2022 Oof. oh man i'd have to think of what came out last year uh i mean i was i, I love ryan johnson so i mean i was a big glass onion fan Okay. Um, that's, that's what comes to mind immediately. I'd have to think think of what else I saw. Okay. Last question is easy. Your favorite kind of weather? Favorite kind of weather. Um <laughs> I'm throwing you weird questions tonight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like I like most Texas winter except for the weird ones we've been getting lately. I like yeah, it you when guys it's been getting 50s. cold lately. Yeah, like the fifties and sixties is great for me. You know, I like that. I don't want frozen. Uh, you know, I don't want to live somewhere where it snows all the time. Uh but yeah, so, I like shot at my, my, my canadian self over here is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean like that's not what i want right like if you like it that's cool uh not for me i would say i'm used to it i think canadians yeah. would tell you we're used to it do we like it no but we don't really like heat waves either we don't get those yeah. I, I don't like 108 degree weather in the summer but like yeah. I, mean, I grew up in texas so it's like i wish it didn't happen but can i deal with it yeah so when you were actually, I want to go back to one more question. When you were approaching a short, do you always think it could be bumped up to a feature or sometimes do you think, nope, it'll stay as a short? I mean, I typically, they're pretty diff diff different from me, right? Like this is not something that I could see as a feature, right? Like I don't really feel like it has legs for that to me. Like the story is not there, right? I wanted to tell this one concise story of this idea of, um, we're, we're screening, I love that uh, we're screening Nevermore Film Festival at the, um, actually the same weekend as, as Laughing Dog. It's in, in North Carolina. And, and they had a review on their side of our film that said it was a, what did they say? It was a anti, a, a heartfelt anti-horror comedy, right? And like, that's what I wanted. I wanted to like go through different genres. I wanted to use the idea because you can't really do that in a feature very well. But in a short, I wanted to be dramatic and then go into horror and then go into comedy and then end back on drama, right? And I wanted to go through these things and go through a man's life. And that's not really... I don't think that would be as entertaining if it was strung out for an hour and a half, right? Um, I kind of see shorts as like an example, a chance to do, you know, like first impressions, a very short, funny, get in and get out, right? Um, features have a whole different thing to me. That's that's what I love. That's what I want to make. After this next short, I'm going back to making a feature. Um, and that's really what I would like to do. So I, I don't I don't typically think of the same ideas for features and shorts. Fair enough. Uh, and we're done. I see a quick one for you um tell everybody where they can find your stuff um rogue alchemy pictures is my production company so roguealchemypictures.com rogue alchemy pictures on instagram on facebook wherever thank you for your time and have a good night